What's going on YouTube, just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in this video I'm going to be building the Porsche Cayman from the Fast and the Furious 4. And to recreate this build I'm going to be using the Fista Growler which was released with the LS Tuners DLC. So as you can also see I've put this build together already. So if you like what you see and you're interested in recreating this car yourselves, stick around and I'll show you each option that I chose to create this car. So as always we started with 100% body armour, then the brakes, we got the race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper we left that stock. For the rear bumper we went and grabbed the smoothed bumper. Next we had the engine, we went the strut brace and got the Mark II Rally strut brace. For the engine tunes we got the level 4. For the exhaust we went and grabbed the dual bore exhaust, we skipped past the front fenders and then we went into the hood. We didn't purchase any hood latches but we did go to the hood itself and grab this vented hood. Then we moved on to the interior, we only changed two options for this which were the seats, I got the carbon bucket seats and the roll cage, I purchased the white half cage. Then we moved on to the lights, I went to the headlights and purchased the Xeon headlights, then for the lip spoiler I purchased this primary ducktail. Then we had the mirrors, I purchased the primary mirrors. Then we moved on to the respray, I went to the primary colour, metallic and purchased frost white. For the secondary colour we also went metallic but this time we changed that to formula red. So as you can see it does change the colours of the brake calipers and that is pretty much all it does change and also the trim on the inside. You can't really see it anyways, but the main reason I chose Formula Red for the secondary colour is because of the brake calipers. So then we skipped the rear splitter, the roof accessories, and then into the skirts. We purchased the primary extended skirts. Then for the splitter, we grabbed the wedge splitter. Then we moved on to the spoiler. I purchased the drag spoiler. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a discussion to have on the spoiler, I suppose, because it's nothing really identical to what we need. Uh, the one from the movie looks a little bit thicker than this and it kind of binds in with the ducktail a little bit more than what this one does um, but in my opinion this is the best option that we do have these ones seem a little bit low and that one just seems a little bit too high this one seems a little bit more appropriate for the size it's just a shame that it's carbon black we can't change the color of it and again it's a shame that it doesn't tie in with that rear ducktail but you know it is what it is and uh, yeah I think the drag spoiler is probably the best option we have. So then we moved on to the suspension and purchased the competition suspension. The tail lights I was really disappointed about because as you can see these are predominantly black um, tail lights. So when I saw this option I thought hell yeah man hopefully we can get a red tail light in. Which we can and then that looks awesome you know because the tail lights from the one in the movie are red and I thought this is perfect. And then I purchased them, now I come out to the front. And it's changed the front lights as well, man. So I was really annoyed about that. Um, it, it's an option called tail lights, and it changes the headlights as well. Really, really annoying. So, yeah, so because of that, I've had to keep them stock. So it is a little bit disappointing. But anyway, we move on. Transmission, we got the race transmission. And for the turbo, obviously got the turbo tuning. And then for the vents, we got the curved vent. For the wheels, wheel type, we went into SUV, I believe. Yes, it was SUV, and we purchased these Bipu wheels. And then once you purchase them, you want to go into the wheel color and grab carbon black. And then to finish off the build, as always, we went into the windows and purchased the light smoke window tint. So you go, my bros. There is the Porsche Cayman from Fast and Furious 4. Um, I did try to create this build a few years ago now, actually, and I think I used the comma. SR or something like that I can't remember what, what it was called that was the comment something but that was probably the best option we had at the time and now this Fista Growler has been released this is so cool the only downside to it really is that spoiler like I've already explained um, but other than that it is pretty much spot on everything about it even the wheels the, the vent at the front uh, could do with being a little bit lower you know just below the hood rather than being on the actual hood but at least we get it so it kind of gives you that uniqueness that you need for it to look like the one from the movie. Uh, the wheels are pretty much perfect, I mean except for obviously the chrome outer rim, if we could make that white that would be even better. But yeah, I mean this looks awesome, the only downside to it like I've already said is that spoiler, but at least we can get a half decent spoiler and also add that ducktail to it as well and it just in my opinion makes up for the shortcomings of not being able to have a more appropriate spoiler, you know one that's a little bit thicker and one that's color coded as well. 
But you know what? It's not the end of the world. And I think this Vista Growler does an amazing job at playing the part of the Porsche Cayman from Fast 4. So with that being said, my dudes, that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And also let me know what you think of this car build down in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.